Click the bell icon to get latest videos from Ikeda. Hello friends, today we are going to discuss about the straight local storage and the issues related to that. Sharing the data among threads in a process is the only benefit among the other benefits of multi-threaded programming. Now in multi-threaded programming, a threads and all threads that belong to a same process eventually and automatically share the data belong to that process. Now there are some certain data that a threads want to allocate to uniquely. Now these data are known as thread local storage. For example, in a transaction processing system, each transaction should be processed in a separate thread and each transaction should be given a unique ID. Now, to relate this unique ID to each thread, we use this thread local storage. Now, the issue of the thread local storage is, it might be confused with the local data. Now, the local variable or local data that is available only during a single function invocation within that that the local data is defined. But for thread local storage, it is visible to all the functions invoked during the process systems calls. Now the function can see the thread local storage or the unique data structure for each thread using the each system call or the function call by the processes. It is very similar to a static data but the only difference between the static data and thread local storage is thread local storage provide unique data to each thread whereas static data provide the common data for all the threads and common functions for all the processes. Now this way Windows, P threads and Java threads also provide some support for the thread local storage which might not be confused with the local data and the static data. Thank you for watching this video. Stay tuned with Ikira and subscribe to Ikira.